everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Showcase, where we are today going to be showing another dinosaur. I shouldn't even say dinosaur, because this thing um, evolved and existed long after the dinosaurs. Oh, but you don't need me to tell you what it is, because you probably already know, because you've seen the title and the thumbnail of the video. And it is, of course, what is going to replace the Archonithomimus. The dodo. For a start, it's about two times as big as it normally should be. And, uh, I mean, look at it. <laughs> Could you imagine? It's something we've wanted for the for quite some time when it comes to Jurassic World Evolution. Is Cenozoic creatures or glacier mammoths and stuff like that. Obviously, we knew we would never get anything like that as this is Jurassic World and not an app game, uh, you know, but it would still be really cool to have that option as a pack, like a snowy pack with other things. But here, the modern community, of course, not supported by Frontier in any such way, have decided to create their own. And this is the Dodo. Not only is this Dodo a replacement of the Archaeonathomimus, uh, but it also comes in many different flavors, as the one you've just seen is, of course, Blueberry. This one is a... Uh, I think also blueberry. Are you a default skin? I'm going to assume you're a default skin as well. Damn, did I make two defaults? Damn it, I made two blueberries. Ah, nobody likes two blueberries. <laughs> so we'll follow this guy. I mean, look how big it is, right? The dodo was not this big. Obviously, this is something possibly to do with the rig, I'm assuming. Um, and this awesome, beautiful model was created, and you just saw the other one go by there, by Zoo Tyvoon 4, or Zoo Tyvoon. Um, this was supposed to be for another game, but since that fell through, they've decided to enter it into this one, and I, for one, could not be more grateful. For now, we can actually make, if you want to, in your regular parks, a dodo holding pen, <laughs> and then sedate them, and, uh, transport them into your park to feed your dinosaurs. That's, and now we've got an alternate food source because Archaeonithomimus is pretty darn cheap uh, to feed your dinosaurs. Just like in Jurassic World Evolution, you had... Uh, wow, well, we've got a lot of grey ones, don't we? What skin are you? Grey, you're jungle. What are you supposed to be? You're rainforest. And uh, I don't know what this one is. It's a ground feeder. Stop selecting the ground feeder, damn it. Ah! Stop it! <laughs> yeah, little bug. There we go. Okay, what are you? You're wetland. Okay, so these are all different skins, but they, um, there seems to be only like a male and a female variant, a sexual dimorphism. <gasps> Don't you be but my beautiful waddling dodos. <laughs> so obviously the duller color is supposed to be the female and the brighter color is the male. And you know what? I don't mind that at all. I don't mind that. When it comes to a dinosaur like this that, you know, has no movie counterpart, I uh, say dinosaur, you know what I mean? A creature. And you can see the, the skin weights um, there have uh, painted around the ankle haven't been blended in too well. So <laughs> it kind of gives this sheer crunchy foldy effect of some sort of origami, something like that. But the model looks gorgeous. The animations translate incredibly well over to the dodo. I don't know if the wings have been rigged because the arms would be out front if it was an actual Archaeonothomimus. But uh, now we have uh, a dodo squad going to save the melon. Say, is that dead? Is he dead? <laughs> no wonder they're extinct. This fall over dead. No, of course, because these aren't properly rigged, um, they don't have uh, working eyeballs, which means that they're just running around like re realistic and possessed and dolls. Um, so if you did want a male, you go for the basic skin. Everything else is a female skin, or the brown dodos. Look at them go, they look so glorious. They're like big clowns. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this has to be my favorite thing. Now, we also have something else hiding in the park, which is from a different one, and he's over there. I was wondering if he was going to associate with the dodos, but obviously they're... Mm, I don't think anybody would... I mean, is there a car? Co Let's have a look at this car. Let's have a look at the car. So you're riding the tour. You're like, oh, yay! Finally, my first look at a dinosaur! Oh, yep. 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 Yep, I've been scammed. Mom, you've got people dressed up as giant dodos pretending to be dinosaurs. <laughs> and of course, these things will function exactly like an Archaeonithomimus. They only cost 15,000, which, I mean, in comparison to a feeder. Oh, right, that's right, because I don't have prices turned on. 
Well, let's say about 80,000. So you can get a good few dodos. But, I mean, it's going to be more expensive if you want to go that route with the dodos being your f op options of food for your dinosaurs. Not going to be able to do that just here. But they're actually sticking together. That's quite cute. So what kind of dinosaur is going to be able to feast upon the dodo? How about a gorgeous nether bird? Oh, well. It, it kind of... Is this the, the modded one? It doesn't... I think it is, actually. It's just holding itself a bit funny for the uh, entering animation. The... Accurate kind of Spinosaurus. He's gonna go straight looking for food, and he's gonna find one. In fact, oh, God. I think he might actually find the other dinosaur um, before he finds the, uh, the dodos, because the dodos are actually quite far away. Oh, no, never mind! He's run away! The dodos are slowly coming towards their inevitable demise. Here you see the dodos, reenacting one of their favorite pastimes, extinction. Going towards a natural predator, the Spinosaurus. And he's wasting no more time and running straight over towards the dodo flock, I think you could call it. Uh, now, who, which one of them is going to present their fluffy bottoms? And it looks like this one is the contender. He's turned around. The sp oh no, the Spinosaurus is changing its mind. It's oh no, it's lining it up. Hold on. If we, I would like to see how this dodo dies, and let's put it in slow motion. Here we go. The Spinosaurus running over. Ah, it's too slow. There we go. Let's speed it up. Wow, the dodo taken down with its eyes. Oh no! <laughs> the way its toes were on its face, like on its forehead. And there you go. Beautiful. Another pastime from the dodo. Being eaten by something else. Isn't that glorious? You weren't just a fish eater. You ate dodos. Are you just roaring at the other dodos or the cars? I think the other dodos are over. Oh, they're over that. You're next. Bless them. But look at them. They carry on. They march plodding on for. Oh, God. <laughs> She's like, have you seen that guy? He's huge. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, he is. <laughs> They're so comical. These are gorgeous. I actually prefer, I mean, uh, you could have more scientifically accurate dodos, making them smaller, but the fact that they're just so comically huge just uh, leads them for more uh, humorous moments. And I think if that's what a dodo is going to be, I think that's what a dodo should be. Comical, oversized, and funny. But why not? Let's release another. You know, got to feed on dodos and all that. Ooh, this is an interesting one. This is the Jurassic Park 3 T-Rex, I think? But it's not just a Jurassic Park 3 T-Rex. It's an M&S T-Rex. <laughs> it is the T-Rex that has the changed head sculpt to make it more like the... Um, What'd you call it? The Stan Winston animatronic. As you can see, just by looking at that head, look at that. Gorgeous. Uh, unfortunately, we have a dodo here ready to be eaten already. T-Rex is it's lining itself up for the T-Rex, presenting the posterior. Da -da 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 oh, lovely. Gorgeous. Yes, look, you did that. You're not even going to eat it. Oh, now have you decided you want to eat it from this angle? Oh, no. Oh, yep, yep. Oh, you want to eat it in front of the car. Oh, my God, we need to get in that car. Can we get in that car? Wait, emergency shutdown from what? Oh, Spinosaurus destroyed it. Yeah, I, I, I would really not try and get past that team. What are you doing? Did you get... Oh, you didn't get hit. Wow, I'm impressed. Gorgeous. Okay, so we have the dodos now flocking literally every which way. And there's only one last thing to do. And that is to let a little carnivore go and kill them. Go on then. Oh, 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 oh there you go. <laughs> well, at least the car didn't go flying, I suppose. What are you? Like a Dilophosaurus soundboard? What are you doing? Oh, look, the donuts are taking refuge in the redwoods. Run, my little feathered buddies, run! Oh, no, oh, oh, you're gonna eat this other thing from the other video. You're not supposed to eat that one! You're not supposed to- Ah, damn it! Okay, well, you know what? You can have a look at this one. It's a cutie. There you go. For those of you that have stayed for this long in the video, you get to see a little sneak preview of it. 
But there you go. The inevitable demise of the Dodos. Was this fun? Oh, yes. I just want to say a big thank you, Zoo Typhoon 4, or Zoo Typhoon, for uh, putting this in the game. This is going to give so many people so much joy feeding dodos, or maybe just having a complete dodo farm. I would love to see a dodo actually break out of its enclosure. That would be amazing. I mean, they would just ram it just like everything else. But actually, you know what? Before we go, quarantined in a little chicken coop. Yes, just, oh, look. A little scratchy animation. I mean, I'm assuming that is exactly from the Archeonothomimus, but still, so nice to see. All right, guys, I've kept this dodo in here long enough. I actually had to feed it and water it <laughs> because it would have died. I forgot about that. But now he's so unhappy. He's on 12% and we're gonna see just what a dodo does when it wants to break out. What are you gonna do, buddy? Ah, he just runs into it head first. <laughs> Can we see that from the other way? <laughs> Look at him go. He's going to do it though. He's 2,000 tons of repressed aggression for his, uh, his previous extinction by humans. Well, I'll tell you what. If you uh, end up somehow managing to annoy the dodo because it doesn't... <laughs> It takes a lot to annoy the dodo. Um, oh, I like how the fence is actually moving each time it gets hit. Ooh, interesting. I wonder if there's one that you can follow by the time it gets to the end, one of the dents, then it's going to break out. No, it's good. I mean, I'm sure you would have had cracked ribs, broken bones. But, <laughs> you know, God loves a tryer. And God damn it, this dodo is trying its hardest. How many more? Two more? I'm going to say two more. I guess right, and the dodo breaks out of his enclosure. <laughs> that is going to wrap it up. Unfortunately, he's the last dodo. And, uh, oh, have they broken out? Oh, yeah, they've broken out. Also, it looks like something ran across the T-Rex and broke out as well. And the dodo, look at him. He's smart enough. Sorry, she's smart enough to know where she wants to go. And that's straight outside. <laughs> the spino is coming for it. <laughs> The dodo's running like the other direction. No, don't run down here. No, you're running towards death. It was destiny. It was fate. The dodo was supposed to be eaten and killed. And there it is, the extinction of all the dodos. But if you enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye.